Butterflies, a child rights NGO based in Delhi, has been striving to promote and protect the rights of the marginalized children, especially street and working children. Efforts have been to address the numerous violations of rights of those children who struggle for survival on the streets of an insensitive city. The mission of Butterflies is to respond to the various needs of these children needing care and protection. Among these, the emphasis is on education for children who do not have access to a formal education system. The children are provided a suitable alternative, that is, the National Institute of Open Schooling, NIOS, and Bridge Education through the Chalta Pirta School, a mobile school in collaboration with the Delhi government. The mobile school is not an alternative to the formal school. It is a catalyst, motivator, and preparation for mainstream. Another mobile school called Chalo School Aya, in partnership with HSBC Bank, focuses on life skill education for the children, which is an integral part of butterflies. Cultural activities include a monthly cultural evening at the India Gate Lawns. It is a platform for street children to demonstrate their talents and express themselves. The monthly sports day is the most popular program and the sports teacher is obviously quite popular among the children. Sports are promoted as children's right to play, an engagement that keeps children away from drugs and other harmful behavior. The core activity and value in Butterfly's program is promoting children's participation Hence, Bal Sabhas, children's councils, are a vehicle for helping children learn democratic values, where children identify their problems and plan action to address them. Night outreach, undertaken by the child rights facilitators, including a doctor and some coordinators, helps them understand the vulnerabilities faced by street children in the darkness of the night. Children found sick and lying helpless on the streets are given medical care. The night presence enables butterflies to reach out to the most vulnerable children and build relations with employers, parents, police and others. Butterflies provides facilities of night shelter to those street and working children who otherwise are forced to sleep in the open at night and are thus exposed to all kinds of abuse and exploitation. Butterflies believes that all sections of civil society should be involved in creating a protective environment for children. Therefore, regular meetings are organized with shopkeepers in the vicinity where children work, with employers and with parents to enlist their support to Butterflies programs. Butterflies also partnered with Times of India and took their volunteers under the Teach India initiative and place them in various Butterflies program activities. The sensitization program is a part of the Butterfly strategy, especially sensitization of the police, to ensure that they become protectors of street children rather than the ones who are feared by street children. The health program has three important components, curative, preventive and promotive. The mobile health van visits street contact points to provide first aid, conduct health checkups and transport sick children to government hospitals or charitable institutes with whom it has excellent rapport. The health post managed by butterflies staffed by a doctor and a nurse is very popular among street children who are discharged from hospital after surgery and treatment but who still need to continue medication and report to the OPD. Often government hospitals approach butterflies and refer cases to the health post when children need to be discharged when continuing hospitalization is no more necessary. This helps them release beds for more needy patients. Health education and regular health checkups are a regular part of the health program. Children's Health Cooperative, a unique initiative of butterflies, focuses on empowering children with knowledge about health issues, involving them in their own health care and providing a sense of ownership of the program. This program has been very popular among street children. Children are trained in first aid, 
and are given an orientation in navigating through various departments of the government hospitals. These child health educators are effective and helpful peer escorts and well equipped to rush their peers for admission in hospitals when required. When needed, they stay at the hospital with their sick friends and on the streets, they are little doctors. Computer education is part of the education program and these machines have their own attractions for street children which also promotes learning. Even the mobile education imparts computer education and it is such a big hit that the children prefer learning computers to watching an educative movie on the LCD. Children also have an opportunity to learn art and craft. These products are sold at stalls on various occasions and the earnings become part of these children's savings and bank account. Yes, children have their own bank. Formerly called Children's Development Bank and now the Children's Development Khazana. The child volunteer managers trained in managing cash book and ledger operate the collection and dispersal counters at appointed times. Street children deposits range from 1 rupee to 60 rupees in a day. Only the children above 15 years are eligible for an advance to initiate an enterprise. Group enterprises are recommended and promoted. There are child volunteer managers and an advance committee to manage the affairs of CDK. CDK has 15 operating points in Delhi and works in partnership with NGOs in India in Muzaffarpur, Bihar, Kolkata, West Bengal, Bhuvaneshwar, Orissa, Leh, Jammu and Kashmir, Chennai, Tamil Nadu and Ghaziabad, Uttar Pradesh. Internationally, CDK is operational in South Asia with prominence in countries like Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Afghanistan and Kyrgyzstan with growing membership. Many organizations working with a vulnerable population have shown keen interest in taking CDK to locations in Africa, Southeast Asia and Latin America. The alternate media consists of children's newspaper called the National Children's Times, South Asian Children's Times and Delhi Children's Times, Bal Rang Manch Children's Theatre and the radio called Butterflies Broadcasting Children. Initial training in production of radio programs was by the Presswise UK. While the children dream of a radio station of their own, at present, taped programs are played through the public address system mounted on a cycle rickshaw, moving from one location to another in the city. The alternate media activities help children develop their communication skills and provide opportunities to these children for expressing their thoughts and feelings to the adult world. Nowhere is this more apparent than the monthly children's cultural program, where children showcase their talent, producing theatrical skits, songs and dance performances, and even anchor the whole show. Butterflies, while intensively engaged in child right issues at the ground level through its field and street presence, also gives due attention to advocacy and research. Through workshops, seminars, conferences and its publication, My Name is Today, it tries to reach government officials, the policy makers and numerous civil society organizations, promoting progressive policies and programs relating to rights of children, especially the marginalized. Such meetings focus on challenges that these children face for which program responses and actions are expected from government and civil society groups. Research activities are primarily directed to better understanding of the situation of marginalized children and the findings contributing to updating and fine-tuning of Butterfly's program interventions. The vocational training program is aimed at providing an opportunity for the street children to exit from unskilled work and to access skilled jobs. Butterfly School of Food Preparation and Catering trains adolescents for jobs in the food and hospitality industry. This program is run in collaboration with reputed bodies like the Pusa Institute of Hotel Management and Catering and ITC Sheraton. Some youth have had the privilege of internship in the Taj and ITC Moria Sheraton. This has not just enhanced their culinary skills 
but has boosted their self-image tremendously. Therefore, we have graduates of the school finding employment in the kitchen and housekeeping departments of established corporate houses like Unitech Country Club and Airtel. The School of Food Preparation and Catering also responds to requests for supplying food to seminars, conferences and other events in corporates and various colleges of Delhi. Butterflies believes there is strength in numbers when it comes to mobilizing action for policy change and advocating greater and more meaningful response to children and their rights. Butterflies initiated the Delhi Child Rights Club which now consists of around 6,000 children participating in programs of 13 NGOs. Butterflies also initiated and continues to be the convener of the National Alliance of Grassroots NGOs consisting of 60 NGOs from 13 states. This is an alliance committed to providing a platform for grassroots NGOs to express their views and suggestions based on their grassroots experiences to contribute to policy development. In the year 2008, through six regional meetings involving participation of 287 child rights NGOs, implementation of the child protection program in the 10th plan was reviewed and recommendations for the 11th plan were made. While Butterflies is proud of their successes, several children reunited with their families, many children weaned away from undesirable habits, several children helped exit from unskilled and hazardous work and helped to access respectable occupations, sick children cared for, treated and helped regain good health. The list is long. However, there have been failures too. In spite of best efforts, sometimes we do not see a positive result. There have been children who are provided with many opportunities to get out of their difficult situations and develop as productive citizens. But due to their own personalities and influence of bad elements, they chose to tread a different path. And the result has been painful for butterflies. It is these instances and experiences that force us to look at ways to refine our strategies of working with children. Butterflies has recently initiated work with children who are in conflict with law in partnership with Juvenile Justice Board under Juvenile Justice System. However, one gets much strength and motivation from the majority of the children who are so positive, resilient and strong. Butterflies dreams of a world in which all are one, where every child has a happy childhood and opportunities to become a productive human being.